Hope everyone's having a good day. Just gonna throw a bar and chain on this MS-260 that uh, Chippy built. This will just be a fun little saw, it's ported, so it's not gonna do no production work. Okay, like I said, MS-250, or 025, it's the old style. These are good little saws, these are awesome little homeowner saws. Not practical for what I do, but it'll be a fun little saw. And then, uh, Steel's new little bar. It's a 325 50 gauge 62 driver on their chain. Yeah, it's just a simple little job to do. It's no big deal. They're nice little bars. And this is the R RS chain. It's my favorite chain. Don't forget uh, tonight, it's uh, December 2nd. I'll be going uh, live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time with uh, Jeff Ward. He's an awesome guy. You guys gotta, if you're not subscribed to him, go check out uh, Jeff and Susan Ward, their channel. It's awesome. They got a lot of cool old saws museum quality old saws all the saws run it's pretty pretty amazing how he's keeping history alive guys like him once they're uh, once they're gone or too old to do that stuff anymore it's gonna be gone forever Like I said before, when you're uh, putting a uh, bar and chain on a steel saw, always like this. Always put the uh, weight on the tip so that the bar comes up. And the reason is for your felling sights. If they're down on a steel bar, your uh, sights are off. And that's just from experience. I don't know if Husky's like that or any other saws, but steel is. And just a little tip. Yeah, quick, simple bar swap and chain swap. Have an awesome day, everybody. Be safe.